Today I'm going to show you how to replace a shut-off valve. This is also known as a toilet tap or as Bunnings call them. Usually these uh, leak because there's an o-ring or the fiberglass washer inside. Either of those might need replacing but this one that I've got here is very old and started to corrode a bit. So this new one was around 10 bucks from Bunnings. So really it's a no-brainer just to replace the whole unit. So first step is to shut off the water. Then flush the toilet to get rid of most of the water. Now I've just replaced this system, um, click the link up above. So if you want to know how to do that, check that video out. Um, now we've got to turn the water main supply off. If you're in a unit, the mains are usually in either the bathroom, laundry or the kitchen. If you're in a house, the mains are usually out the front of the property. Here's our water mains. So we'll just get a tap here, turn this off all the way. Back inside now, check that the water's actually shut off. Yep. Now we're gonna remove the connection here. Get your wrench and undo it, and then you can do it by hand. Let's put that out of the way. You can see that water going out, that's all right. Now we remove the shutoff valve. So just clean this up a little bit, or get all that old plumber's tape off. I'll take this cover off here and just take this off as best we can. So we're going to put some plumber's tape, which is also known as thread seal tape. Um, always put it on clockwise. The reason is because our new um, shutoff valve is also going to be threaded on clockwise. So if you put the thread seal tape on anti-clockwise, when we thread this on, it's just basically going to unravel the tape. So let's put our cover plate back on. And we're ready for our new shutoff valve. So let's put this on. Once it's hand tight, just grab your wrench and just tighten it up. Doesn't really matter which way the outlet's facing. You know, as long as your hose is long enough, doesn't really matter at all. So let's put this back on. Once you've done that up hand tight, grab your wrench. Now turn your mains back on. Turn the new shuttle valve on. Uh, that's what we want to hear. Now it's good to go and no more leaks. Thanks for watching.